Right, so what's up everyone, welcome to the ultimate guide to optimize your Windows 11 PC for the best gaming performance. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to fully optimize your PC, giving you guys the best performance in games, speeding up the overall system responsiveness, and further optimizing your PC for all the tasks out there to ensure the best possible performance at all times. This will reduce latency, stutter and lag, loading times, startup times, and much, much more. But before you start this video, I gotta tell you about a tool that will fully optimize your PC in under 5 minutes and boost your FPS, lower ping, lower input lag. Check out Ripties.com or join the Discord server in the description for the best PC optimization. We've got over a thousand happy users and a ton of reviews on our services, so if you want to fully boost the performance on your PC without having to follow tutorials and get 10 times the performance on your PC, check out rupees.com or join the Discord in the description. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna need to do is open up Discord, join the Discord server that's in the description, go into the tutorial pack channel and find Windows 11 optimizations.zip. Click download, click continue to download, and then your browser is gonna open up. And as you can see, there's the download. This is the Windows 11 optimizations.zip file, which we're gonna be using to optimize Windows 11 today. So just drag that out on your desktop, open the file up, drag the Windows 11 optimizations folder on your desktop. I just opened the Windows 11 optimizations folder and we can start. So the first thing that we're gonna be doing is going to start folder. Basically, double click on restore point, just click on create, type the name for your restore point. I'm just gonna name it rip tweaks, click create wait for it to finish and bam this is the way to actually revert any of the changes that we're going to be doing in this video so if anything goes wrong if you don't want to do all of this stuff if you want to go back to how your pc was just close this out click on system restore then click on next and as you can see this is the restore point that we made just click on the rip tweaks or whatever you named it click on next and then just click finish it will go back to the restore point that we made and all of your data everything is going to go back to what it was now the second thing that we're going to be doing is uninstalling the apps that you don't need basically if you have any of those for example i don't know latency mon i really don't need it uninstall uninstall it's done so basically for the startup apps just open it up it will open up task manager and literally disable anything that you don't need to be started up when you actually boot up your pc for example you don't want onedrive to open up just right click click disable you don't want discord to open up just either left click and click disable on the top right corner or just right click and click disable do this for every app that you think you don't need on your pc now for the system properties performance basically just run this open it and click on adjust for best performance just click on this click apply now it may look ugly basically if you want to make it more beautiful just click on show windows contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts just basically click apply and won't look that ugly and still bring much much more performance to your pc now that's that's done let's go over to the cleanup section so for the cleanup section we have two things here which is clean cache and this cleanup basically the clean cache will delete temporary files the temp folder prefetch and all that stuff if you really want to clean up all of the unnecessary files on your pc just right click and run as admin if it says something like this just click on more info and run anyway basically click yes and as you can see all of the cache temporary files are gonna get deleted now if you don't trust this code you can just right click edit a notepad you can check it out for yourself it's really easy really simple it's nothing special just a cleanup script now once that's done just go on this cleanup and select everything that you think should be cleaned up on your disk basically i don't know direct text shader cache recycle bin everything that you don't want on your pc just select it and click clean up system files and that's about it as you can see everything is cleaned up so yeah just close it out delete files and bam now for the third option we have performance which is three tweaks power tweaks services and ultimate power plan as you can see it's labeled with an exclamation mark which means it's dangerous to run it you're doing it basically at your own risk it's really powerful will boost a lot of performance but you are doing it at your own risk we made a restore point beforehand so it's really safe to use it right now we can go back and save the system if anything goes wrong now i'm gonna run it because it's really gonna optimize my pc so, so just right click this run as administrator click yes and bam that's about it the tweaks are gonna get applied and your system is gonna be much much more powerful the same for services just disable unnecessary services run as administrator run anyway yes that's about it basically all of the unnecessary services running in the background are gonna get disabled now for the ultimate power plan just again right click run as administrator run anyway yes and as you can see ultimate performance power plan is now active now if you go to power plans in your system a new option called ultimate performance will be available on your pc so basically click it this may boost fps by a lot for some people it may not if it doesn't work if you have like some starters and stuff click on balanced go back to balanced and that's about it just close it out and we're done with the performance section now the fourth folder which is the bloat double click on this 
and it will open up this page here which is windows 11 to bloat so what you want to do is click on this button here which is called download zip and once that downloads just drag it on your desktop as you can see right here just drag it out now once that's dragged out just open it up get this windows 11 to bloat master drag it out to your desktop again and just open up the folder so what you want to do is double click on run just click yes type number one, click enter. This will remove default selection of apps, telemetry, Bing, Search, Cortana, whoever fucking uses that, Windows Copilot, all of the bullshit that Windows comes with, just click enter. So just wait it out, it's gonna finish. And as you can see, the script has completed successfully, so I'm just gonna click enter again. And that's about it. We're done with the debloating tweaks. Now for the RAM tweaks, just open it up. And this is really important, just right click on taskbar, click on task manager, click on performance. And as you can see, I have 16 gigs of RAM, so that's what I'm gonna use. So basically find 60 gigs of RAM, double click it, run, yes, and click yes again. That's about it. The keys have been added, so click OK. This will actually remove all of these processes that are running in the background. It will lower from 124 down to much, much less. We're gonna check that after we finish tweaking, so yeah. Stay tuned. Now for disk tweaks, basically choose if you have a hard drive or an SSD. To check that again, right click, go to task manager, go in performance. And as you can see here, it says SSD. It might say hard disk drive or HDD. I have an SSD, so I'm gonna go and double click on SSD, SSD tweak, run this as an admin, click yes. And that's about it. Now, next step is internet tweaks, which we're going to be using. Now, as you can see, this is really useful, which is basically network restart. Now, this will actually restart your whole network if you're lagging pretty hard. It's going to do everything to make sure everything is restarted and working again. So yeah, the script finished. Internet might go out for a few seconds, but it's going to come back and you're going to have a fresh new internet connection. The next step that you're going to be doing is TCP optimizer. Run this as an admin, as you can see. Yes. Now this app will open up. Just give it a few seconds for it to load. Now we want to go is in the file settings, click import and import riptweaks.spg. Click open and then click apply changes. This will apply a whole bunch of internet tweaks, basically to boost the internet stability and actually improve the internet speeds while playing games. Just click OK and wait it out. Now, if it says to reboot, you just click to reboot. We're not going to be doing that now because we're going to do it later. And if you want to go back to the default setting, just click on Windows default and click apply and everything is going to go back to what it was. Now, click exit and we're going to go into the next week, which is basically internet settings. Now, double click this. Click open. Now go to the advanced network settings. Click on Ethernet or whatever you're using. Click on more adapter options and edit. And once this opens, click on configure and disable this option here. Now once that's done, just go to advanced. Interrupt moderation, disable it. Interrupt moderation rate again, put it to off. LSO, just click on this. Disabled. Purdy and VLAN, just make sure it's set on enabled. For the receive buffers, just go and type in 512 or 1024, depending on how much RAM you have. If you have more RAM, just type 124. Speed and duplex, just leave it on auto. Now for the transmit buffers, basically set it to the double of the receive buffers. Basically, we've set it to 1024. We're going to set it to 2048. If you typed in 512, set it to 1024. After doing that, just click OK. And that's about it. Now, one more thing what you want to do is double click on Inter Protocol version 4 or IPv4. Click, use the following DNS server addresses and type 8.8.8.8. And for the alternate DNS server, just type 8.8.4.4. Basically, the Google's DNS servers, which will which will kind of improve some of the internet connection. I don't know, just test it out, see what suits you most, just click OK. And that's about it, your internet connection might restart. We're done for the internet tweaks. Now the input lag tweaks, you want to run this as admin, click yes. And any of the devices that aren't plugged into your PC, not being used, just highlight them, right click, remove device. Now that's finished, just click X, go back to the Windows 11 optimizations and go to the CPU tweaks. Now here we have some few tweaks. So basically, if you have an Intel or AMD processor, it depends on your processor. If you don't know what your processor is, go to Task Manager, again, Performance, I have an AMD processor, right click, run as admin and do the tweak for your processor. Just run anyway, click yes. And that's about it. Once that's finished, we're going to go over to the OnPark course, which will download onparkcpuapp.zip. Just drag this out, double click it, click yes. Now, what this will do is onpark all of your CPU course, which basically will improve performance on the long term. 
what you want to do is click on on park all click OK. And if this is set to, I don't know, like 50% or zero or something, just make sure it's on the 100% click on park all that's click OK, click apply. That's about it. We're done for a CPU tweak. Now in the GPU tweaks, we have four options, which is AMD, Intel, Nvidia and MSAU till V3. Basically pick out what GPU you have. I have an Nvidia GPU. If I have a AMD or Intel, just open that up. I have tutorials for basically all of the GPUs. For example, Intel graphics, command center, fucking this is what you want to enable, disable. If you want to optimize the general performance of the GPU, just click on Intel Power, for example, right click, run as admin. That's about it. It's labeled with an exclamation mark because it's an actually powerful tweak that may disable some of the functionality on your Windows. So only run it if you have a restore point. Now I'm going to go back to NVIDIA and I'm going to use the tweaks. Basically, just right click, run as admin, run anyway. And yeah, yes. As you can see, that's about it. I have a tutorial here, which I have some settings for. I'm going to go and use that later. Now let's go over to the inspector tweaks. Basically just run this, click yes. Now here, as you can see, we have the app. What you want to do is drag the rip profile to here. If it says something like this, just click OK. And what you want to do next is click apply changes. And that's about it. Done. You can just close out the app and continue. Tweaking. Now, additionally, what we have here is MSI Util V3. Now, here just select your GPU, make sure MSI is on, and click on the undefined. Just click on High, click Apply, and that's about it. Just close out. Now, some Windows settings that I recommend is going to the Gaming tab, click on Game Mode, and make sure it's on. Now, you can test it on, off, on, off, see whatever suits you more. Additionally, what you want to do is go into Graphics, make sure this option here is on, and additionally, for any game that you're playing, for example, Fortnite, Valorant, click on add desktop app, find where the app is on your PC and just select the EXE and that's it. Now once your game is there, make sure this setting here is on, make sure the GPU preference is high performance and that's about it. If you want to fully optimize your PC, riptweaks.com or just check out the tweaks in the Discord server. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.